morning, y'all. Today we're going to a barrel race. Some of their waters are really low, so I'm gonna go to my dad's shop and turn on the valve that turns my water on down here. It's confusing, but I can't leave my water on in my barn because it'll leak real bad. So I have to go to the source and turn it on, which is aggravating because I always forget to turn it off. I have to go in this closet right here and go into this dark closet and hope that there's no snakes or anything in here. My dogs, May, Cooper's right there. They've gotten into a skunk and it smells so strong. They must have gotten directly sprayed. I share a barn driveway with my dad's shop. That's why I have all this junk beside me. I got my nails done for Valentine's Day. I already lost one. All of their waters are full. I'm gonna go turn off the water first and then I'm gonna go eat breakfast. It's a little bit windy today. Of course, all week it's been like 65, really nice weather. And then today the high is gonna be 55. I'm gonna take my four horse trailer today that's right there. But I actually only think I'm gonna bring two horses today. Honey and Jazz. I would take Lear Blaze, but this particular arena is not a great place to take super young horses. There's just not that many places to ride around. Lee has been limping and Blaze hadn't been well the last time i rode blaze she was a huge pain in my butt so i really don't want to get here and have to fight her continuously just my two main open horses are going another reason for that is it's not exactly warm today so <laughs> i'll pass on bringing the whole crew it's time to give hey to everybody before getting ready today I read Hebrews 11. I made myself a brown sugar shaken espresso. It's so good. I just checked the weather there. The high is 46 so it's gonna be really cold. I'm thinking I'm gonna wear a sock and cap today um, so that will eliminate me having to do my hair. This is the best water bottle I think I've had in a while. I like that it is like protected the mouthpiece. My face too has been breaking out. I don't know why. And normally my breakouts are like concentrated around my mouth or like my chin, especially like right outside the corners of my mouth. And but lately I have been getting them on my cheeks, on my forehead, in between my eyes, like right there. I do not know why. It's so weird. I'm thinking about going to the dermatologist because I really have never like broke out in such odd places before. And I guess it could be my makeup, but I only wear concealer and bronzer, so I kind of doubt it. should be fun but I need to change it. I need to make sure I wear something extremely warm I got this new ring from turquoise Tuesday and I am loving it the problem is I got a ring sizer and the ring sizer said that my ring finger I wanted to replace this ring right here was a six ordered a six it will not go past my knuckle I do have fat fingers I know the only <laughs> it will only fit my pinky and I'm scared that I'm gonna lose it on my pinky this is the outfit that I've decided to wear. I have on a Carhartt sweatshirt. It's like a medium thickness. I have a long sleeves, Lululemon, some kind of shirt under this. It's um, extremely warm. And then I have on my Lola Kimes jeans. I'm also going to wear my brand new on clothes my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. Look how cute they are. They're waterproof. These are so super cute. I'm excited to wear them. So I packed me a bag and I have a thicker sweatshirt and I have a little bit of a thinner one, like a lightweight one. And we'll see what I end up really wearing. This is my first time wearing these. He ordered them like a week ago. It took them a little over a week to get here. So it was going to be here the day before Valentine's Day and then it came two days after. 
I just remembered that I bought this new loom. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this. A, it's really light, and B, it's kind of big. Like, it has a lot of room back here. I do have a Carhartt beanie that is cow print that I've been wearing like crazy. I've been wearing this one like crazy. My boyfriend actually got me this one for Christmas. And it is definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to do the easiest thing, and that is this. I'm going to have to redo this like a million times, though, because my side bangs and my hair likes to fall out on this side. I'm toting everything to the truck now. Cooper thinks he can come, but he can't smell him like he smells right now. I just grabbed my hay bags from the back of my truck. Let's go fill them up. I use hangover hay nets. They're, ow. Oh, Ooh, a piece of hay went into my finger. That hurt. I think they're the best for your money. I'm gonna throw some hay over for the horses that are staying here. I'm heading to the horse trailer now. I grabbed Honey's thicker blanket because who knows how late we're gonna be staying. And right now she just has a super thin one on that I'm gonna take off when I load her up because the horse trailer is super warm. I gotta get honey, load her up, then drive to my grandma's to get Jazz. I don't know what They're going out. Just grabbed honey, we're heading up to the trailer. I can't even remember the last time I just took two to a barrel race. It feels really strange. Almost forgot my bag with all the goodies in it, like my license. <laughs> all right, we got about an hour and 30, 40 minute drive maybe, but we gotta go to grow my grandma's first to get Jazz. I just got to my grandma's. Jazz isn't that far away. I'm gonna grab her. Then we'll be off. My waterproof shoes are coming in handy now because it is wet out here. Got jazz. That's good. Just got them unloaded. I'm gonna go see if I can get in the draw. to exhibition honey. got finished exhibition and honey there's such a stinking line i'm gonna unsaddle her now she can't be saddled and tied to the trailer it's a whole thing i'm not gonna hose her off because she's about to be ran in like an hour or so there's a lot of people here though, so it could be a little later. We actually had to get Chick-fil-A door dashed because there's no food. They just started open. I'm number 41 on Jazz and 87 on Honey. Uh, I'm freezing. It's a little chilly out here. I'm glad I wore what I wore, but I'm still cold. I'm about to braid Jazz's hair 
and get her ready to be ran. This is always what's, what takes me so long on Jazz, is getting this main manageable. I use these little rubber bands to braid her hair. Get these just at Treasure Supply. This one got ran over and completely smushed. smushed. run they're on number 25 now and I'm number 41. my fault I picked up too early on the second and the third I like reverted back to the way that I used to ride her I don't know it's mind over matter and I swear my my mind knows what to do my hands just we'll, we'll get them next time you know what it's, it's fine I just got home put up all of the horses just checking to make sure their gates are locked gave them food they have water gave them hay really I really hate that I hit a barrel today, but the good news about it was I knew what I did wrong. I can fix it. I can improve. It's not Honey's fault. It was my fault, and I know what to do to do better, a better jockey for her. I know what to do. So that's a great, that's an easy fix, I'm hoping. Um, thank y'all so much for watching, though, and I will see y'all next week.